I won. The plane just blew up. Oh my god. I was sitting at a red light and it blew up and I felt it in my body and like very yes, hard. Yes, ma'am. Where was it? I'm getting another report with Jacob's trailer on fire. Was he going in? Got fire. Got fire. It's the ice off. The ice off. In March of 2005, an explosion ripped through Texas City, decimating the British petroleum refinery, killing 15 people, and injuring hundreds more. In the investigation that followed, it was revealed that BP had broken the law and was clearly at fault, and Texas demanded justice. After years of legal wrangling, BP was forced to accept full responsibility and compensate the victims and their families. Additionally, BP was ordered to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to upgrade the plant and ensure safety for the community. In response, Brent Coombe, lead counsel for the victims, stated, it is for exactly this reason that the laws were established. Without them, corporations could not be held accountable for the gross negligence resulting from their greed and the innocent victims would have no recourse in their efforts to achieve some small measure of justice. But now, in Texas, all that has changed. This year, after failing to achieve the results they wanted in the state congress, the corporate machine, bent on changing the rules and backed by propaganda like the powerful U.S. Chamber of Commerce, took a different tactic to buy immunity and with great success. Alex Winslow, leader of the rights watchdog group Texas Watch stated, in our state, no one should be above having to answer for their actions. No one should be allowed to escape accountability and no one should be able to walk away from dangers they pose without facing consequences. BP put profits ahead of people and Lord Brown was the ultimate decision maker. Now, he wants the Texas Supreme Court to protect him. On June 1st, 2007, the heavily corporate financed all Republican court of nine judges decided to strip away many of the rights of the worker to pursue justice in cases of injury and even death. The Houston Chronicle, nationally recognized as a champion of public justice, was clear in its response. In order to side with big business, this opinion offends not only the law, but also court precedent legislative intent, reason, custom, and common notions of justice. Here at buyimmunity.com, we and our allies will expose the corruption. We will reveal the corporate puppeteers who have bought the judges and call the shots that impact your everyday existence. Here, we give you a way to let your voice be heard, to fight back, and to send a message to our legislators in Austin to tell them to restore our rights and that corruption will not be tolerated. Don't mess with Texas.